Hey everybody! I'm back today with a new video. Who would have thought I would make this video because I am so freaking stressed all the time the last few weeks and I don't know how I actually became so free like a bird! Literally my exams just finished like... Actually I think my exams are still going on right now. I think they're still being collected by the other students who haven't finished yet but basically in my university, I don't know whether, it, whether it's like the same in all the universities but once you're done with the paper, you don't have to wait till the, the end of the paper to actually um, give it back to the invigilator I could just do it, finish and I'm satisfied with it and I could just leave the exam hall so I it went well obviously, it was a marketing exam, it went well and I left early and that's why I'm here recording another video because I feel like I haven't been putting so much um, effort into my YouTube because I really really want to um, make videos because I, I love it I actually enjoy video editing and I it just makes me happy I'm gonna do a mixed girl tag video so if you guys did not know or did not notice or did not like sort of question um, I'm actually mixed I'm actually recorded as a Eurasian in Singapore it's that's how everyone is being recorded like on your ID you have your race in Singapore at least not here or most places I think so I'm Eurasian and that means that literally it means half European half Asian the Singaporeans that have a European descent on my paternal side my grandma is of Spanish descent and my grandfather is of Portuguese descent and that's why my name my surname is Gomez because it follows my paternal grandfather's surname and well it's Portuguese instead of Spanish so um, lots of questions of course involved mostly in Singapore because well I look different and majority is Chinese so get on with the mixed girl tag I found this questions on a mixed girl tag through Tumblr so uh, I'm gonna just get on with the questions and maybe it would help you somehow understand people of mixed heritage but it's hard to understand them because different mixed people are of different mixes what ethnicity have you often be been mistaken for okay it won't be literally mistaken because some of them are actually close because um, no non people say that I'm of like I'm from Spain Portugal or um, South American, well that's sort of close, it is close I guess because Spain Portuguese is of my descent and at the same time they think I look Indian so to each her own so I don't know, I don't care what I, okay basically I would love to look like how I am but it's hard to look like all different nationalities at once and have people get it right so I guess it would be really far-fetched if I had such an opinion to look all the different races that I'm mixed with so let me know I don't know what what do you think I look like and leave it in the comment section um that would be cool okay I'm back with a different angle don't ask me why so we'll carry on with the mixed girl tags I have over here hair um, my hair is right now pretty straight, but this is really at its most natural. Like here, it's straight. Look, this is like really straight, and I don't know how I achieved that. And at the same time, you have some little wavy curl. Like it's not curls even; it's just waves. When I was a baby, I was born with like ringlets of curly hair, and it was really that curly. And I don't know why I turned out to have so much curly hair. And it was literally short, and it was like like a bob it was like a afro hair so the roots here are the main like the natural color of my hair which is like plain just really black just black which backgrounds do you embrace the most um hmm i would say that i would embrace more of my european side because um i was brought up more towards like european ways but at the same time with a, a just a few um like I guess more Asian morals more European because I have a totally different culture from like others Asian Singaporeans because well they had their main celebrations Chinese New Year 
Dipavali and Hari Raya but at the same time um, Eurasians we don't have like a racial festival it's more of a religious event for us so at Christmas and Easter becomes the main celebrations that I celebrated with my family wait what was the question again I forgot the question Oh, which breadcrumbs you embrace the most? Yeah, so I guess I embrace all sides or all kinds of roots that I have. Yeah, it's always good to embrace all cultures and not just stick to one culture. Have you ever been teased for being different? Yeah, sure, many, 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 many times. Um, actually, basically almost every day. Kind of scary to say that, but uh, mostly back in my country. Especially when someone doesn't know exactly what you are, instead of asking politely or something, they just assume what you are, like what religion you have, what race you have, and it happens a lot in Singapore. And really often, like everyday basis, you are seen as something else, and you are just supposed to be like that just by your appearance. And I don't think anyone should judge anyone according to race and religion, and just basically all of us are all humans and we are on the same level you know a person from what he or she is and not basically how she looks like and make presumptions about it and, and not in a nice way as well and not even caring that you've been really blunt in what you say um yeah and it happened outside school at work anywhere have you ever been ashamed of being multiracial no and i don't think anyone should be ashamed of being multiracial well, obviously you're gonna be you you are gonna be different from other people, but you shouldn't make that, like in like entrench that in you being like a an an alien or something like that. Um, it's those people that are like, um, not well educated about such um mixed race people, and to make others feel ashamed for being mixed race is just not right. Please, if anyone went through something really um um like in such a situation or may even se several situations where people make you feel ashamed of being multiracial don't let them get to you because what they are thinking is wrong and it's wrong on their side and that's so important that's why for parents to educate their children ab about racial equal equality and that makes me mad actually to hear such things do you feel that being mixed has its benefits? Hmm. Benefits in the sense that you are normally thought of to be more unique and interesting. Well, of course it has its benefits because you stand out from the rest. But I, I guess this is mostly in a social context. Well, being a mix, a person of mixed race probably helps you um, uh, not uh, educate people about like um, different cultures and how you actually represent them. What makes being multiracial a beautiful thing? Mm. Well, obviously it's a beautiful thing because of what has happened in the past in different places in the world like all the atrocities and all the hate not just in the past but now there's still hate it's unbelievable that such things are still going on in our, um, our world today and that's why it's so such a beautiful thing that at the same time and all this hate and um, uh, is going about there are also people like us that show that, you know, it's okay to be mixed and how mixed you are. You can be crazy mixed. Any advice to someone who struggles with multiracial identity? I can't even imagine what kind of things like other kids are going through nowadays. And there will always be bullies in school, so you should not let them get to you. I know how hard it is, especially when you're going to school and going to the same class and classes every single day, like for six years or like something like that. Oh. Um, and it's so hard to tune it all out and it's hard to stand up to the person that is actually um, saying such stuff to you but um, in the long run it will make you a much stronger person trust me and you will get through a lot of other things in life much easily after going through this stuff but most importantly you should make sure that you should put a limit to um, to insult the people to um, hurl at you because if you don't do anything about it it's just gonna go on and these people are gonna go on to other people as well so if you can find a, f a friend or some friends that can back you up or say something or even if you you could say it on your own um, yeah you should do it because you can never know um, 
how how destruct destructive these things could bring on forward like into a person's life if it happens in like such a regular basis so yeah so at the end it's still all positivity and of course being unique always is a good thing in this world and always preach racial equality and multiracialism and please also like help to spread the word to all your friends if you have such friends that are sort of like um outwardly showing that they don't support it or they like make a whole slew of race racial jokes like almost every day of their life and yet they don't even care how it's affecting their other race race like um multiracial friends that in front of them they just say it um things like that because every in the, at the end of the day everyone is equal and everyone has the same opportunity to happiness in the world to do well in school to get a job things like that so multiracialism just embrace it and it's gonna make the world a much better place trust me i hope that i actually answered the questions to the best of my ability because at the same time that these questions are like fun to do at the same time it also brings forward a more deeper meaning and it's really educating lots of people and it's a issue that is really close to my heart i really really hope that my advice helps you wow i didn't think that i would talk so much and put in so much effort into this video it was all lightheartedness at the start and now it has become uh, an educational and inspirational video so please like it and please also write your comments about any um, instances in your life that you um, may have felt the same way or if you have like experienced anything that was racial the discrimination that was going on in different places I don't know wherever you are and I would love to hear about them thank you so much and have a great day guys